Facebook knows that I'm a woodworker, so it serves a lot of sketchy woodworking ads to me. And today, we're gonna buy all of them. And this video is brought to us by Squarespace. This first one is a chamfer plane from Smart Saker. We all know who Smart Saker is, right? It looks like it comes with some different bits. It looks high end. Daniel, can you hand me the woodpecker's chamfer plane in there? Thank you. So I have a chamfer plane. I don't know how much this costs, but it's pricey. So I'm clicking through, going to the website. The website doesn't look too shady. A lot of these Facebook ads, it's so freaking shady. I'm seeing a lot of home improvement, outdoor stuff. Uh, there's this DIYers get started here and it shows him using a Festool saw. I know that they are not selling Festool stuff here. There are no reviews on this website, which makes me a little, a little sus. Before purchasing, I wanna just check out their trust score. They got a 3.4 rating on Trustpilot. So probably a legit company. Let's, let's buy this. Let's just break out the credit card for this one. After tax, we got $44.98. Next up is a Saker Honing Guide. Now, this already is throwing up some red flags because that previous one, what was it called? The previous one was smartsaker.com. And then this one is shopsaker.com. I don't know what Saker means, but that is immediately throwing up some red flags. Last day, 50% off. If I don't buy this right now, I'm actually losing money. I got some chisels that need to be sharpened. So this, what this thing is supposed to do is angle your chisel the right way, and uh, you can use a sharpening stone. Looking at Shop Saker versus Smart Saker, and they're two totally different websites, but they got the same logo. So they're related somehow. I'm trying to figure out if, if one is like DIY. And, no, they have the same things. That's sus. This is one of my favorite selling tactics. Their, their best selling package is buying two of them, which I have no idea why you would need two of them. The best selling is buying two of them. That's such bullshit. Then there's the best value where you can get three of them. That makes absolutely no sense. Since I don't feel 100% safe, I'm just gonna get one. So the total was $35.98. The weird thing is I use PayPal for this purchase and it went to some like random user email and not like a Saker official PayPal account. So again, more red flags going up. I believe in them. We'll, we're gonna get, it, they'll send me, they'll send me a, a honing guide, right? Yeah, man. Sure, sure. Should've went with three. Next up is another company that nobody has ever heard of is Vexman. And they are selling a precision tenon caliper measuring ruler. I'm gonna say that again. They are selling a woodworking high precision tenon caliper measuring ruler. How many keywords can you stuff into a title at one time? I could actually use this. I could use this to set the height for my table saw blade or a bit in the router. I actually don't have anything like this. I use gauge blocks, but this would be really handy to have everything all in, in one little tool. The weird thing is it's got rounded corners instead of sharp corners. So if your bit catches on the rounded corner, you're gonna get a, a, a not so accurate reading. That doesn't, um, that's a, to me that's a flaw in design, especially with the, the smaller measurements. But anyway, they served me an ad. I have to buy it. This website is super, super weird. There's no navigation. You have home, contact, order tracking, when you click on this little hamburger here, you have home, contact, and order tracking. They have best sellers, but there's no division. This is a drop shipper 100%. They need Squarespace. <sighs> they need Squarespace. <laughs> we all need Squarespace. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Look at this magic thumb. Look at this, Daniel. Look at that. <laughs> what? That looks like something else. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm back here. I totes need a magic thumb. She needs a magic thumb. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, man. That's so good. 
what is it? Magic thumb light on fingers? $29.99. It's a thing that you put over your thumb and it, as <laughs> we gotta stick to the plan, we, I can't put this in my cart. We, buy it, buy we, it, buy we it. gotta stick to the plan. It's like a, it's like an ET finger, but for your thumb. I'm throwing it in the cart. I'm throwing it in the cart. We're gonna get it. Yeah, the, the website is very sus. Doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Uh, it's just some sort of reseller. So let's search for Vexman scam. Oh yeah, yeah. A 1% oh. rating. Oh. Ooh, this ain't good. This, this is, this is not good. Next up from urine, US. <laughs> I don't know how, how do you, how do you say that? You urine. You hear in US. It's urine. It's urine. It's totally urine. All right. You're in a lot of trouble is what you're in. That's dumb. Don't put that in the video. This is, it's like a, it's a T-square, angly, woodworker's edge rule. I need one of these. I could use one of these. It looks decent quality. This guy's got three of them hanging up on his wall, pretending like he's got woodpecker's tools up there, being real proud. Uh, urine, that's how you say that. U-I-E-R-N, urine. All right, so they have a 10 inch, a 15 inch, and a 20 inch. Again, uh, here's another last day promotional 50% off. We're, we happen to be filming this on the most special, last day special, the stars have aligned. I'm losing money if I don't buy it. 50% off. We've got 22 reviews. Let's see, let's see what we got here. All of them are five stars. That's a red flag. That's a lit thumb right there. We've got a lot of photos, a lot of, a lot of sales copy, a lot of images. This, this is real. There's no doubt that this is real. Although what concerns me is how cheap it is. Like, this is one of those high quality tools that you would pay, you know, you want the good one, you're gonna pay like $200. Maybe, maybe you find a cheaper brand and you pay $100, but it's, it's high quality. This is $23.98. Again, not a lot of confidence in what I'm going to get here. I'm only gonna buy the 10 inch just because I'm a little suspicious. The total came out to $31.59. All right. Let's find one more, one more. We found a grinding disc for my angle grinder. I've been into a lot of carving and shaping over the last year or so. So this could be something that I use. It's from a company called Bounth, which we've all heard of Bounth. We all trust Bounth, don't we? All right, so this is really cheap. It is 1999. Now I know you're thinking, you know, a disc for your angle grinder, that sounds kind of expensive. But when you get into the shaping stuff, like the turbo plane, do I have, I don't know if I have a turbo plane out here. And I think that is like $150. And that's a, that's a good one. Um, so if they have something for 1999, that's usable. Do you trust that in your angle grinder? Um, well, first of all, I don't trust my angle grinder. <laughs> I, I trust Facebook ads more than I trust my angle grinder. <laughs> Uh, that's a good point. Um, yeah, because that spins very fast. Um, let's go ahead and put our lives in danger. What could possibly go wrong? Out of all the websites, this one looks the most legit. It's still a little, like, because everything is categorized and they got special offers and new arrivals and uh, a logo. It looks legit. It doesn't look like, I, I, I still don't trust it, but it definitely, it definitely looks legit. Let's check out Trustpilot. Uh, 3.6 rating. So, I mean, if it's, if it's more than a rating of one, then it, it's got to be a real company. This first person, all caps, drop shipping scammers. <laughs> they ship you junk directly from China. Ah, poor Joe. He's so pissed. You know when old people are typing it in all caps, they're pissed. So after taxes and shipping, that came out to $25.98. That's five items, that should be good. All right, I said that was good. There is one more, this is obviously, obviously, obviously this is a scam. I wanna buy it just because I know that it is a scam. So <laughs> this, is from, this is from a Facebook page called Groupon Sale, but Groupon with two N's. So uh, red flag. 
They are using stolen video footage from a YouTube channel that I follow. Red flag number two. Clearance sale. Fire emojis, red flag number three. So I've, this is a channel that I follow. This is Maurice, uh, I forget his last name. Maurice Hornberger. He's like, he's one of those YouTubers that's just like crazy bonkers, intelligent and makes good stuff. He made this wooden lift table and then this Facebook ad is claiming to, to sell it. So yeah, this is 2000% scam without a doubt. So I click through and it takes me to Happy Buy USS. If you buy from Happy Buy, you are not going to be a happy buyer. $29.99, we gotta get it just because. When a company doesn't take PayPal, I just use these Visa gift cards because I ain't giving out my bank digits to these companies but it won't, take my, it won't take my gift card either. I've tried two different gift cards, it just won't take. So I guess we're not getting it. I just wanted to call him out because 1,000% a scam, 2,000% scam. So we're not getting the wooden lift table, Daniel. Sorry. Oh man. Yeah, next time. Now we wait. Our packages have arrived before, well, most of them anyway. Before we open them up, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. As we have seen in the first part of this video, a lot of these companies have terrible looking websites. They need Squarespace. You need Squarespace. You're probably a lot like me. You're probably a maker, an artist, a woodworker, or a metal worker. You're gonna need a website. You're gonna need a place to show off your work. You're gonna need a contact form. You're gonna need a place to take orders. Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. I've been using Squarespace for like 10 years now. I couldn't be happier. I used to be a web developer. I know what it takes to develop a website from scratch. I don't wanna spend hours working on my website. You don't wanna spend hours working on your website. That's why you need Squarespace. You should focus on the things that matter to you and let Squarespace take care of your website. You don't have to worry about code, the cloud, the back end, any of that stuff. Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. They have 24 seven customer support. You run into a snag, you got a question, you just hop on the chat and you're talking to somebody with Squarespace. It's that easy. For those of us who make physical items, their image galleries are absolutely beautiful. You have a number of choices to choose from. It's drag and drop. It's all set up for you. Squarespace will make you look good. Visit squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It is time to open up these packages just by the, <laughs> This is gonna be good. This, we got scammed. Daniel, we got scammed. Looks like it. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. They all say seller or online seller as the from. So you, I don't know which one is which. Plus there's a label on top of a label, which means it started off in China and then ended up here in the States. So random order. Daniel, which one do you want me to open first? Let's see, how about the middle one? The middle one. There's four of them, so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go with this one. Here we go. It's got some weight to it. I don't. Oh, a package within a package. Oh, uh, oh, that is wow. the angle grinder attachment. I didn't want to start off the day by grinding some wood and making a mess and putting our lives in danger, but. I guess that's how we're gonna have to start off our day. No instructions, no warnings or safety. It's just, um, it's just a hunk of metal. It looks decent. You know, you could grate some cheese on there. So we have no choice but to throw this on the angle grinder and put our lives in danger. Daniel says he wants to leave the room <laughs> when I use this. Here's the weird thing though. This is perfectly flat. All the other ones that I have, have a curved surface. So um, I think it's gonna grind wood. I don't think it's gonna remove a lot of material. I'm surprised that it is this hefty. It's, it's got some good weight to it. That's the normal size of most discs. This is a little bit smaller. And because it's flat, I think this guard is gonna get into the way, but I am not removing the guard no matter what. Not for this guy. I cut down a tree for this. The disc is about the same size as the turbo plane, but the turbo plane has this curve on there so you can, you can get in there. 
The one thing that I notice about this, it's scary. Because this is so heavy, the tool just feels completely different. The weight of this between the weight of the turboplane, like it feels high quality because it's so heavy, but it makes the tool feel different. I think I need more protection. It's sort of like when you put a really, really big router bit in your router and it just sounds different and it sounds scary. That's what I got going on here. Okay, because of the flat surface, I can't even get to where, this is not removing hardly any material. Because it's flat, I only have use on the very edge of the blade. And the blade guard is here. I, I don't have access to the teeth that are down here. When I use the turbo plane, it just, material just flies off. Because of the flatness, I'm only getting this very edge of the blade onto the wood. I could maybe from the side here, so I'm gonna show you one more time, and then I'm gonna stop making a mess and stop putting our lives in danger. I don't even know what in what scenario I would use this. It's finer than this, but it doesn't leave a nice edge. It leaves little grind marks on there. The turboplane, which is far more aggressive, but it still leaves a super flat surface. I just don't know how I would use this blade. I will never use this blade for anything because the only way I could use it is if I took the blade guard off. And I still, even if I took the blade guard off, you don't want full, I'd like the, the, the nut right here would, this is useless. This is totally useless. We gotta go rank this. We gotta go rank this. I want to give this a five because I know that I will never ever use this. It's it's useless. It's totally useless. We gotta see what the other product, we gotta rank the other product. So for now, I'm just gonna set it right here in the middle. We made a mess. Daniel, which, which one now? Looks like we get to sharpen some chisels. Ooh, it comes with a pouch. You kidding me, bro? You kidding me? Ooh, okay, okay. It's got a nice little roller there. Uh, it's got some good action. It's made out of aluminum. This is the, uh, that, that Saker brand. I ain't mad at it. So this was $35.98 after taxes. Uh, so we gotta give this a shot. So it turns out I don't have any sharpening stones because I use this Tormek T8. I gave all my sharpening stones, I think to Daniel or to somebody, Anyway, I don't have a way to test this out, but I can tell you that it is decent quality. It holds the chisel in there just fine. And then you can set your angle by how far the chisel is away. It's threaded the opposite way. Reverse threaded, that is weird. Anyway, so once you get your angle set, then you could do your thing on your stone. And then this one does come with some paperwork. So it does have blend angles and everything that you that you need. So uh, yeah, let's go rank this guy. I, I just realized the reason it's reverse threaded is one is reversed and one is not. So when you tighten it or loosen it, this the jaws open up. But you, I, you normally think, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey, you have to think opposite when doing this. So um, maybe that's how all honing guides work. I don't know. I cheat and use that thing. This is good. I, I, I'd have no, if I had sharpening stones, I would have no problem using this. So we're gonna put it at number two for right now. Due to the process of elimination, I know what this is, and this is gonna be hilarious. So I'm gonna save that one for last. So let's open up this guy. Oh, ah, the other Saker item. The chamfer plane. Oh, we got another pouch. Saker loves pouches. They are, they are a pouch company. Okay. Um, oh, okay. The, ooh, okay. All right, all right. I, 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 I went through a whole range of like, 
this feels kind of cheap, but then it came with all the cutting heads. And so I'm like, okay, okay. I went from, all right, to okay. I would say this is the holy grail of chamfer planes these days. Um, Stanley might have been years ago, but um, the, the the weight difference, like this, this, ugh, I could knock my mother out with this. I would barely give her a bruise with this. Don't knock your We got six cutter heads in here. I don't know if anybody else does anything like this. I have not seen it. Um, but they got different styles of heads, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna start off with the good woodpeckers one, so I just so I have something to compare it to. I don't use this very often because I'm usually just using my my router table. So we got one side with the woodpeckers. Again, this one is reversed threaded. I don't know why. Any hand plane that you use, you turn the knob to the right and the angle iron goes down. The plane iron goes down. This one, I turn to the right and it retracts. That's just, that's just weird to me. On the Saker one, it immediately clogged up with chips in there. Didn't have that problem with the woodpecker. So I gotta, gotta get those chips out. But uh, this has this little, I have a place to put my thumb to, for a more positive reference. The Woodpeckers doesn't have that. It's got more surface area to register on there. But this really is a nice little, nice little feature. I like that. At first, I thought I liked this, maybe not as much as the Woodpeckers, but after using it a few times, Here's what really, really drives me nuts about this. The Woodpeckers just has one knob, and that knob moves the plain iron up and down. There's no locking. This, it's got a knob and a lock. And when you don't have that lock in place, it's really, really loose in there. So you, you, get, your, you get your depth set, you lock it down, you take your pass, then you unlock it, you move it down a little bit, and then you lock it again. But because it's so loose in there, you don't know how much you're moving it up and down because it's, you hear that? It's loose. You don't get that with the woodpeckers. You just, you can really precisely control. I would actually, I would not recommend this. I love the little lip on here to add to that. I love that it comes with some extra bits, but I can't recommend this. That's a bummer. Even though it comes with a cool pouch and I'm a cool pouch kind of guy, I can't recommend it. So I am going to move the angle iron grinder blade thing down to number four. I'm gonna put this at number three. This is the, uh, the angle T-square thing. This is the packaging that it came in. I can bend the whole, like, come on, look at that. That, like, it could have, it came from China. It had to come all the way from the other side of the world. Anything could have happened. First of all, they get an F for packaging. Oh man. I can't believe this thing is still intact. Oh my gosh, this is so cheap. Oh, oh, wow. oh boy. Is, terrible. is that, is that, is that bits of broken plastic in there? Oh, oh boy. This is. There's <laughs> <laughs> like a kid's like kit or something. Yeah, this is so bad. That is not what I am seeing here. These two images do not match. They just don't match. Yeah, that's knurled. This is, this is not knurled. Holy cow. This is so bad. You should be able to lock it into different, well, let's get rid of that. Oh, that's terrible. And then you can lock it into different uh, angles, which I, well, that didn't lock, did it? <laughs> there, yeah, it doesn't lock very well. That's, that's fully tightened. And let's check the accuracy. <laughs> Grab me the digital angle. If I want to go to 130, it doesn't allow me to stop at 130. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay. There's 130. There, there's no, 
stop on oh my goodness this i was gonna test the accuracy but i can't because the, the the positive stops on here don't stop on the numbers this is that is such a that's a scam so all right so ranking this number five what didn't show up we got to go see what didn't show up oh the measuring ruler we didn't get the um we didn't get the the little height adjusting gauge block thing. Oh! That means we didn't get our magic thumb. That's what I wanted the most. That's what your mom wanted the most. Oh. Oh. We share the same mom, by the way. <laughs> so when I say, when I say your mom jokes to Daniel, it, uh, it doesn't translate very well. <laughs> And that is the one that had the 1% rating on ScamDoc. That was $25.98. I ordered that on January 4th. It is now February 22nd. So what is that, five weeks? Seven. That's seven weeks. Wow. That's plenty of time. I got scammed. It gets the infamous fan award. If you watched the previous Facebook ads video, you know about the fan. It gets, it gets the fan award. If you think I got scammed this time, I got scammed even more the previous time. You might like that video. Protect your neck. Boop, boop. You can boop. bring those around corners. <laughs>